Hello, welcome to News Update. An Ikeja domestic violence and sexual offenses caught on Monday sentenced a dismissed policeman to life imprisonment for defiling a nine-year-old school girl in a police barrack. The Katina State Police Command has confirmed that terrorists that arrived on four motorcycles started shooting indiscriminately in Jibia local government area of the state, killing 12 people at Gakurudi village in the early morning of Tuesday. The federal government of Nigeria on Tuesday said 999 million naira will be spent daily to feed approximately 10 million pupils in the national homegrown school feeding program across the country. The Central Bank of Nigeria on Tuesday raised the interest rate from 11.5% to 13.5% for the first time in two years. For the first time, three suspected cases of monkeypox have been discovered in Morocco, the health ministry announced on Monday. The Gabonese government has banned an opposition match against the French military presence in the country, noting the defense agreements Gabon had signed with France. It said the protests would jeopardize the excellent relationship between the two countries. A Tanzanian member of parliament, angered by poor conditions of road in his constituency, has done a handstand in parliament to draw attention to his complaint. He said the parliament pledged to construct a 100-kilometer tarmac road in his constituency had been ignored in the last three budgets. Russia has banned 154 members of the House of Lords from entering the country in response to the UK's decision to sanction Russian officials. The bodies of 200 people have been found in the rubble of a high-rise building in the Russian-controlled city of Mariupol in Ukraine. The bodies were found with a high degree of decomposition, an advisor to the city's mayor said, adding that locals had refused to collect them and Russian authorities had abandoned the sites, leaving a stench across the country. Turkish President Erdogan has said he will stop talking to Greek Prime Minister and cancel a key meeting between their two governments, accusing the Greek leader of antagonizing Turkey by seeking to block the sale of American-made F-16 fighter jets to Turkey while visiting the US. And that's the news update. You can get more from TOS TV Network using the details currently showing on your screen.